racket. We are back. We are talking Stanley Park Open. Nice. TJ is like a sniper in disguise here. Sarah Caddy's here. Jason Hilliard. Excellent coach. Whoa! Nice. Uh, now, nice now, Jason, we are essentially beginners here. TJ, even though she's got the professional outfit ready to go. Um, before we talk Stanley Park Open, let's talk technique. If someone's just getting into tennis, first couple of tips you'd like to teach. Well, yeah, so remember the path angle speed, but wherever the racket face is pointing at impact is where the ball's going to go. It doesn't matter if it's a serve, volley, or a ground stroke, okay? So you always have to be aware of your racket face at the point of impact for the direction. So you can just drop the ball and you can feed it over there. Okay. Ooh, nice, good, good impact point out front. Good, and just keep that, oh, a little too close to my body on that one. Cool. Now, how does this differ when you go forehand and backhand? Well, what this, what you want to do is you want to switch your grip around a little bit. Sorry, this is the two-handed for the backhand and one hand. Tri oh, traditionally, the sun blocked it. Uh, traditionally, the one hand. That's it. Good. Get that impact nice in front. Go ahead, and yours. Good. Oh, major run, Riaz. So, always try to get to that left hand as soon as, whenever you hit, try to get to that left non-dominant hand. That allows you to set up the racket a little bit better. And always try it on the backhand. For the ground stroke or, or volley. What Ready? do you What do you find most common mistake the beginners make when uh, you get into the game? Most common mistake is they're too tight. They're way too tight. You want to be really loose, okay? And of course, the split step and keeping the feet moving at all times. When you see professional tennis players, they're, they're never really standing still like a lot of recreational players. Oh. Okay. TJ's got game. I think TJ's a ringer. Right? That's a great shot. Yeah, there you go. When it comes to lessons and we're learning to play the game, how long does it usually take for someone to pick it up? And uh, Well, everybody's better? different, but uh, usually if you take a 1.0 class, like we teach oh. these up at UBC as well, but you want to get that all the basics down from the grips to the swing pass to the impact points. Yep, there we go. TJ, you and I are just all about the lob nice. right now. Oh, nice Good cross volley. court. All I'm saying to myself is don't go over the hedge. Don't go over the hedge. <laughs> no. If you actually watch the tournament, the Leith Wheeler Stanley Park Open here, you're, you're going to find a lot of great impact points, a lot of good swing paths. And oh, there we go. A little miss hit. Go. You know, I will say, as someone who's never actually played tennis before, picked up a rack, racket, it's incredibly satisfying to hit the ball and have it go where you want it to go. Yeah. Well, the, this ball really helps, too. This is what we teach a lot of the adults with Ooh. as well. <laughs> <laughs> as well as the young kids. So now, this yeah. is great. This oh. is great. Car! <laughs> there you go. Okay, Jason, you keep rallying with TJ. Okay. Sarah Caddy's here, tournament director for uh, the Stanley Park Open. It's always great this time of year. I mean, obviously, this was an unbelievable weekend. Uh, it starts this Friday. What's in store for this tournament this year? Caliber of talent. How do people get involved? Well, we have players coming in from around the world part. playing some of our the best junior tennis. We have players ranked in the top 200 coming to play the first week in the ITF event. And we have some players who maybe just picked up the game six months ago, as young as six years old, competing in our first rookie tour. So we have, we have everything going on from players who are just getting involved, like like here and just really feeling it and loving the game to players who are aspiring to be the next Vashik or Eugene and Milos. So there's something for everybody. Well, I love the fact you mentioned Vashik. We had him on the show. We talked about the culture uh, of how tennis has grown in the country. When it comes to this specific event, how many people come out? How competitive does it get? How much do the fans get into it? Man, for some players, it's like they're Wimbledon, you know? It's like what they train for all year. So when you see them playing, they're giving their heart out out there. And and um, and for the fans, there's something for everybody. We have so many special events going on for the spectators. We have about 1,000 to 1,500 players playing. And then uh, we're hoping to get as many 500 to 1,000 people coming out to watch the various different events because it's going to be a great, great tennis coming out there. 1,500 players yeah. in this tournament. That's incredible. Yeah. We have events for everybody. Even if you, like, I know for myself, my brother's playing with his daughter, we, we brought back the parent-child event. So yeah. you're, you can be 6, 7 playing with your mom and dad, or you could be 13, 14, or even 30 playing with your dad and or mom. So there's a parent-child event. There's team events for 9-year-olds, 10-year-olds. And then, like I said, then we have some players that are coming back from college who are still aspiring to play flow, playing the open events. So something, every level you see. Something for everybody. Speaking yeah. of levels, what do you think about what you saw from the BT team today? It's pretty amazing. Amazing. I think, like, honestly, you guys picked it up so quickly. I think you guys should be playing next year. I'm there's just... an event for you, too. Oh, there's an event for everybody. There well, listen, is. We'll put the info on our Facebook page.
Page, Jason, Sarah, thanks so much for coming by. Thanks, guys. I Yours. Think we, I think we got an ace. We have a new Yours. hobby this summer, TJ. Oh. That was out. That was long. That's great. Fun. That's oh, so sorry. good. Oh, watch it. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> Always have to keep eyes on the court. Yeah. TJ, you're amazing. We'll take a break. A much more to come here on BT. This was a lot of fun. I'm already sweating. This is great work. You killed it, man. You're so good. Keep the rally going. Let's keep it Let's going. Let's do this. Yep.